everyone, and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. We're playing more Rebel Inc. We're doing it on Brutal, and we're going to be playing Pistachio Forest with the Banker. And just to show you it can be done, we're going to be playing with no advisors, so when you decide to play, you can use any of them and make the game easier. So we're going to be starting off by making a new name here. I will brag a little bit, this was a one-timer for me. It doesn't happen too often, but I'm very excited about it. And we're going to be starting right above these mountain areas here. I believe it's Charlie Papa. If I'm correct, we'll find out in a second. Yep, Charlie Pop right there. So that seems to be a pretty decent spot for me. Going into the government, we're going to be doing district representatives and civilian. We're going to be doing the services discussions tab. So we're going to be going back and forth, kind of keeping maybe about $20 to $30 so we can gain some interest with the banker. But we're going to go back and do outreach office and government and do water supplies in civilian. We're going to open up all three tabs on that services discussion in the civilian tab. And we'll open up those other two trees too really don't do too much more. What I like to do next is go to government, do universal justice. That's going to open up that local police militia down there. And you'll see here, we're going to do the medical supplies. And we're really trying to keep it between that 20 to 30, like I said. And that doesn't really increase the inflation either when we do one or two. We are trying to keep an eye on that when we go to buy more stuff. Obviously, we don't want to waste money. When we go back in here, we're now going to go do that local police recruitment down the bottom. That really seems to be helping out in these later boards. And something that I do like to do. There you are, medical supplies. So we've opened up that whole tier. Really what's going to be next is getting in there on government, doing the anti-corruption. That's really huge on Brutal. And once we get that done, we're going to do the PNR. That's really going to kind of take things off. So a couple of other things that you want to keep an eye opener for is if they ever give you a notification in this game, pay attention to it. Something like, you know, your blah, blah, blah isn't doing enough for polio. Go in there and then do the polio stuff, and next thing you know, your support will increase hugely. If you happen to get those right before you go and do something like PR or the media one that's right below it, that could be really huge. Now, I'm a believer that if you get two of these things in a game, you're pretty much guaranteed if you do everything else that I'm doing here, it's a guaranteed win. Although this one here, somehow I won it, like I said, first try. I really didn't get any notifications at all. I think what I did was I really watched my corruption down on it, and I was able to box these guys out right in the beginning. We really want to keep our eyes open for rebel bases. When the first insurgents land, there's two of them. Usually one of the zones that's touching them is going to have a rebel base inside them. Sometimes it might actually be in the zone that they first land in. But they can usually be identified when they're close to them, as you're going to see larger diamonds. Those are going to indicate there's a good size base around there somewhere. But also, if you're not seeing any around, use a drone. That's going to help you find them. And occasionally we might get lucky and you'll see a little question mark on the map. It's a little faded. If you see one of those, get your troops over there right away because you're going to want to take that thing down. It's really huge on getting rid of these rebel bases because if you don't, they're just going to expand all over. And brutal is brutal. I've said it before. They're going to eat you alive in this. So once you get to that point and we get those all down, pay attention. Peace treaty there. We want to sign that. I always go for the ones that say 70% or less that the insurgents will reject. And once we do get to the point where we sign it, pay attention to what your reputation is. If you're hurting for it, use the right tier. It'll obviously antagonize them a little bit more, but I try to always go for the middle one if I can. If I don't have a lot of areas that are being controlled by them and I can squash them in time, one of the terrible things that has happened to me before is I had a couple of zones and they took 15 reputation each on me there. So I had like 35, three zones they covered, and they just ate me alive. I think it was because they were some of the larger cities. But pay attention to that there. But that's pretty much it. That's how it got done on this one. Let me know what you guys think of it there. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate everybody's support. And don't forget to check everything down the links there. A lot of cool things. Want to check them out. But other than that, remember, I pick my butt.